Introducing Deborah Harper. I don't think I can do this. I'm sorry. I just, I'm just feeling incredibly nervous and I'm sorry guys. I just, you see, I just, I just didn't get time, you see. I, I just can't do this presentation because my daughter's been sick and I've had people staying and oh, it's just, you, you know what it's like. It's one of those things I'm really sorry. How many times have we heard statements like that? How many times have we heard, I can't find the time. I can't do it because it costs too much. It's too difficult, it takes too long. I'm sure most of us have not only heard other people tell us why they can't do something, but we've also said it ourselves. Tonight's presentation is about removing the word can't from your world and replacing it with the word can. It's about changing those negatives into positives and really believing that you can achieve what it is you most desire. I'm going to be talking to you about the power of positive affirmations and really giving yourself permission to say, yes, I can do it. I'm going to share with you some stories that will hopefully help to illustrate some of the barriers that we tend to face when we're trying to achieve something that we want. Now, in order for me to do that this evening, I really need your help. Do you think you can help me? Yep. Great. What I'd like you to do for me, please, for the next 30 seconds, I would like you to close your eyes. Go on, I promise I won't do anything you will not enjoy. <laughs> now, for the next 30 seconds, I would like you to picture something in your mind that you really, really want to achieve. It can be personal, it can be business, it doesn't matter what it is. See it in as much detail as you can possibly imagine. Great, you can open your eyes now, please. Anybody who nodded off gets a big kick. Okay. You see that picture? I'd like you just to put it in the back of your mind for a while, because we're going to come back to it a little bit later on. I'd like you to turn to the person sitting next to you, and I'd like you to say to them, I believe I can do anything. You know, that was so good. I'd really like you to say it to me. I believe I can do anything. Wow, that's pretty good stuff. Hopefully, even by the end of this session, there'll be even a little bit more power behind that impact. Now, let's talk about barriers for a few moments, because that seems to be what stops us achieving, you know, why we say we can't do something. And that's the goal tonight, is to remove that word can't from our world. We're in control of our lives, ladies and gentlemen. We're in control of what we're thinking. So instead of saying can't, what do we need to say? I believe. I believe I can do it. Great. Now, I was reading this about Eileen Caddy. Eileen Caddy is the co-founder of the Findhorn Foundation in Scotland. Now, that's an, an international adult education center for personal and spiritual transformation. And Eileen Caddy said, I guess she summed up basically what we're talking about tonight. She said, the secret of making something work in your lives is, first of all, the deep desire to make it work, then the belief and the faith that it can work. Then to hold that clear, definite vision in your consciousness and see it working out step by step without one thought of doubt or disbelief. Oh, gee, I love that paragraph. That just is fantastic. It's a great quote from an amazing lady. Talking about quotes, I have a little gift for you guys. I'd like you to look underneath your seats. Just underneath, you'll find a little quote. Would someone like to share a short one with me? Someone sh to read something out for me? Don't set your goals by what other people deem important. Only you know what is best for you. Great. Spoken by? Nancy Sim. Great. Thank you very much. So, do you remember I spoke to you about that vision, about holding that, that in your mind, what it is that you want to achieve? I'd like you to bring that just to the front of your mind. You keep your eyes open this time, but bring it forward. So how do we start removing the word can't from our world? Well, step number one is, when you go home tonight, I'd really like you to write down what it is you most want to achieve. You can change this anytime you like. Add to it, subtract from it, it is totally up to you. And then, I'd like you to stick it to your bathroom mirror. That way you're going to see it first thing in the morning and last thing before you go to bed. Step number two is to change your self-talk. Start telling yourself, I can do it. 
Start bringing those shoulders back and walking into work and smiling, greeting the day. So that's what you need to do. The step number three is the power of positive affirmations. You need to tell yourself that you're good at what you do. You need to tell yourself you can achieve whatever it is that you want. You tell yourself you're a special person. Tell yourself you're good looking. Tell yourself you're fit. You need to be able to do that. And those combined together, ladies and gentlemen, will help you remove the word can't from your world. So one last time, what do you need to do? I believe I can do anything. I believe I can do anything. Oh, let's say it loud, say it proud. One more time. I believe I can do anything. Ladies and gentlemen, you have been a wonderful audience. Good night.